In this video, I promised we'd be connecting to our database from Node.js. I'm actually gonna push that off to the next video as there's one more important thing we need to install before it really makes sense to interact with the database using Node. What we're going to install in this video is a MongoDB admin tool. This is gonna be a GUI, a graphic user interface, for managing your MongoDB database and the data it contains. The goal of the database admin tool is to provide us with a nice visual interface for managing our MongoDB data. It's not meant to serve as a replacement for connecting to your database from Node.js. We're still gonna do that. The whole point of the admin tool is just to provide us with an easier way to manage our data as developers as we're building out the application. Now we can find the tool that we're gonna be using by heading over to a new browser tab and we are going to Google Robo3T. Now the reason I'm having you Google the product name as opposed to entering an explicit URL is because they recently rebranded themselves. This tool was formerly known as RoboMongo. It has since been renamed to Robo3T and this is the MongoDB admin tool we're going to use as a companion throughout the class. Now this is a free tool available for all operating systems, so let's go ahead and get it installed. Right here, as we head to the Robo3T homepage, they have two product offerings, they have Studio 3T and they have Robo3T. Robo3T is the MongoDB GUI, the tool that we want to install. Studio 3T has more advanced features that we're not gonna use in the class. Everything that we need to manage our database is available in their free offering. So right here, I'm going to click download Robo3T, which just brings me over to another page where I have to click the exact same button. And once I click it a second time, I'll be able to view the installation options for Linux, for Mac, and for Windows. For Windows, you get an EXE executable. For Mac, you get a DMG installer. And for Linux, you get an archive. So right here, I am on a Mac, so I'm gonna take a quick moment to actually get this installed so we can set it up together in this video. I'm gonna download the DMG file, and once that's downloaded, we'll take a quick moment to install it and set it up. Take a quick moment to grab the correct installer for your operating system. Right here for the Mac, once I open up the DMG, all I need to do is drag the application file over to my applications folder, then we can start it up. So right here, I have Robo3T, I'm gonna drag that over to Applications, then I'm gonna open up Applications and navigate to R for Robo3T, and down below I have the program sitting right here. I'm gonna right click it to open it, and I'm doing this for the first time to confirm that I do wanna open an application downloaded from the internet as opposed to one downloaded from the Mac App Store. I'm gonna confirm, and this is going to open up the Robo3T program. Right here, Robo3T is bringing up this MongoDB connections panel where we can connect to our local MongoDB database. Take a quick moment to get Robo3T installed and opened, then you can come back and continue on with the video. So right here, it's asking us to manage our connections. We don't have any, so we're gonna go ahead and actually create one. When we create a connection, there are a ton of different options we can configure. Up here, we have a whole bunch of tabs for more advanced setups, and we'll explore some of these as we set up a production MongoDB database a bit later in the class. For now, for our localhost setup, the only thing we need to change is right here, name. This is a label for the connection, and we can call this literally anything we'd like. I'm gonna call this local MongoDB database. Now down below on this first connection tab, I also have address and port. Address is correct. The database is running on localhost and the port is also correct. It's using the default MongoDB port, which we saw in our connection message when we first started up the server. We saw that the server was listening on port 27017 and here that's the port we're trying to connect on. Now before we actually save the connection, we can test it out. If we click this test button over here, we should see green check marks for everything, allowing us to actually confirm that the connection settings are working. We can now close the connection test panel. I can click save and we can connect to our database for the first time. Right here, we can just double click that connection to connect. And as long as you're not seeing an error pop up, that means things were connected correctly. 
Now, for the moment, there's nothing interesting to look at because we haven't inserted any data into the database. We'll get to that in the next video. For the moment, though, we are going to run a single command on the database asking for the version of MongoDB it's running. As long as we get the version back, then we know for certain that Robo3T was able to connect to the database successfully. To do that, all we're going to do is right click our connection over here in this left hand panel and we're going to click open shell. This is going to allow us to run a command directly against MongoDB. And in this case, we're going to use the following. That's DB dot version, which we're going to call as if it were a method on the DB object. Now, right here, what we have looks a whole lot like JavaScript, and that is because it is JavaScript. When we're working with MongoDB and interacting with it via the MongoDB shell, we're just using JavaScript to manipulate the database. So in this case, we are asking for the version of MongoDB that's running. If we fire this off, we should get the correct version back, confirming that our connection was able to connect to the database and that the database was able to respond. Right here, to actually run this, we just click that green play button. It's going to fire off the command and down below we get our version back. Here I get the version of MongoDB that I installed 4.0.4. You should see the version of MongoDB that you installed. With this in place, we've confirmed two things. We've confirmed that our database is up and running correctly and that Robo3T is up and running correctly. And now we're gonna continue on to the next video where we're actually going to connect to the database from Node.js and insert our very first documents into MongoDB. I'm excited to get to that, so let's go ahead and jump right in to the next one.